Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess, and I do a lot of styling videos, beauty videos, and lifestyle videos. So my styling videos focus on helping you build your forever closet and how to look for the best pieces out there. So today I'm actually doing a roundup of the five must-have spring jackets that I think you should have in your closet. I'm gonna talk about why I think each one has a place in your closet, what shapes to look for, what materials to look for, and show you like my favorites out of those those ones that I currently have. So let's get started. And I wanted to quickly show you what I'm wearing underneath. This is probably going to be my go-to spring summer outfit, an oversized t-shirt. This one's from H&M and long bike shorts. This one's from Everlane and then some white sneakers with some taller socks. White sneakers are Everlane, the socks are Uniqlo. I am going to be linking everything, of course, in the description box below. So I just decided to have like my go-to outfit underneath so that you can see how all these jackets can really be super versatile and work with a simple outfit like this too. So the first jacket is an oversized linen blazer. This one is a super old one from Zara. I actually found it again when I was trying to clean out my old clothes and it actually fits perfectly for my growing belly because it's really wide and just really relaxed. This particular one doesn't have like a structured shoulder so it's a little bit more casual and I feel like it's a great option to have in your closet if you aren't quite into bla like structured blazers yet and you're trying to like elevate your jacket collection from super casual things to a little bit more dressy. So something like this with the shoulders a little bit dropped would be a great option. So I will definitely try to find you similar ones. But the key things to look for in a oversized linen blazer is it be over like your butt slash crotch area so that you can comfortably wear spandex and bike shorts if you're like me and so that it really feels more slouchy and casual and then make sure the sleeves are lined because I like to have my blazers rolled up um, and some cheaper blazers sometimes aren't lined and it just doesn't look good when it's rolled up so then you don't have that option anymore and then especially now because of my body shape I like a double breasted blazer it gives me more fabric in the front to play with and it just again look makes it look a little bit slouchier. Next up, the lapel on a linen blazer is also important because this one is actually like a smooth rounded lapel. So it actually makes it look a little bit more like a shawl, which is why it looks a little bit more casual than the other linen blazer I'm gonna show you. But those are some key things to look for. So this linen blazer is a little bit more structured. This one's from Everlane. This one isn't as oversized as the Zara one I just showed you, but it is called the Everlane oversized blazer I believe. I ordered this one in a size 8 even before I was pregnant and I love the fit of it. Even now with the belly the fabric isn't like too tight so I would definitely say just size like two sizes up if you want it to have this feel. You can tell that it has a structured shoulder unlike the Zara one. It's a little bit of a more streamlined shape. So if you want a blazer that's a little less casual than that one, then look for that classic long line shape, a little bit of a structured shoulder without it being too shoulder patty. And then you just have your classic more narrow arm. So this one actually looks really good without the sleeves rolled up, but you have the option to do that because this blazer actually is lined as well, so it won't look weird if you try to roll it up. The reason why I like to roll up blazers, especially in the spring and summer, is that I feel like it makes your arms look a little bit longer, and it also helps with the proportions of a jacket, especially if it's a longer jacket like this. So the length of the jacket is just above like the tips of my fingers, and you can still see a little bit of the bike short underneath. That's like the perfect proportion for me. And then the lapels for this jacket, it's actually a, I believe it's called a peaked lapel. So unlike the Zara one I just showed you, it's not rounded it does have your more classic blazer lapel and that's why it looks a little bit dressier. There are some days where I prefer to have that high contrast between a super casual underlayer and a very like nicely tailored jacket or I want to go like super casual and have that very slouchy jacket over top. Either kind that you're looking for, a linen blazer in general is such a good option to have in your closet for spring. So the second type of jacket that I feel would be essential for spring is a utilitarian, military inspired jacket. This one in particular is kind of a shacket shape. So obviously shackets are great for spring, but I typically 
go towards something that's more utilitarian inspired because of just like the style that I go for in the spring summer. I love my shorts and sneakers and tees and I just feel like something a little bit like more slouchy vintage inspired looks really great on top of it. So this one is from Zara and I am wearing it in a size large. It's from their new collection so hopefully they still have it when I go to link this and edit this. So I really like this one because it almost feels like a denim shirt but it's a little bit thicker and it has these pockets that make it look a little bit more utilitarian utilitarian than the other denim jackets that you'll see in a second. So what I look for when I shop for oversized jackets is the length. Make sure that it is again below the butt and like crotch region and that it is quite wide because like even before pregnancy like I liked everything to be really oversized if you're gonna do oversized you might as well do it up and that's why I usually get like a medium or a large when my true size is an extra small and small this one is a size large from Zara and they should still have it because I didn't order it too long ago and when you look for shackets, look for more cotton than any other material because cotton is what gives you the harder like structured feel of the jacket and it ages really nicely because as cotton ages, it will stretch out a little bit, it'll get softer and it just looks more vintagey versus if you have like, let's say more polyester fabrics in it, it might start to pill or it might start to shed weird. So the more cotton in an oversized jacket, the better. So the reason why I say that a utilitarian inspired like oversized jacket is such a staple for a spring jacket is because it's super, super casual that like you could wear it out to run errands and do whatever and still feel cool. It gives you that vintage vibe without necessarily having to be vintage, but it looks like you spent a long time looking for this piece and it adds that extra cool factor that elevates any look like even elevates t-shirt bike shorts and sneakers it just makes it look that much more effortless but still put together so the third must-have spring jacket is a denim jacket so I'm wearing a white one right now I might change into the black because you can barely see it in this lighting but essentially jean jackets must have for spring. Obviously, I prefer the oversized <laughs> version of it. So I switched to the black one so you guys can kind of see the shape better. So both of these are from Oakenfort. They're the same style, uh, just different colors. So this one, I'm wearing it in a size large. I really, really like the shape of this particular oversized jacket. I've had the Levi's one. I've had one from H&M. I've had one from Zara before, but this is actually one of my favorite oversized shapes I've tried. The reason being is because it is like an extra long oversized one and it is a unisex jacket. So I find usually when I go for oversized jackets, unisex ones always fit the best because they are also like made to fit a man and they have wider shoulders and they have longer torsos. So the fitting always kind of works out in my favor because I'm always looking for something a little bit longer and a little bit wider. I definitely say size over, like size up in this particular Oakenfort one. Don't necessarily think you need to go up to a large like me. I just wanted to make sure that I'd have enough room to account for the belly. Without the belly, I feel like this could be a little bit extra oversized, but it's okay with me because that's just my style. So this one's actually 100% cotton and I definitely recommend getting 100% cotton denim jacket like I do recommend with my jeans. I know jeans can be more uncomfortable because they're actually pants that you have to sit in, but for a denim jacket, it's like, an overcoat so it's a lot looser and I promise you it's a lot more comfortable and it just ages so much nicer and it's something that I feel like denim jackets are something you can pass down because if it ages nicely like 100% cotton then it won't look even cooler generations to come. This one from Oganfort is super soft by the way it doesn't feel like 100% cotton I had to check a couple times to like truly be like okay it actually is 100% cotton there is another fabric in it it just feels like there might be because it's very malleable and very soft the white one's even more brushed it feels even better like a little buttery so highly recommend the open fort one but it can be really from any brand a oversized denim jacket or just denim jackets in general will go really well with your plain shorts and tee outfit looks really cute with sundresses there's just so many options 
with a denim jacket. It's a classic, never goes out of style. So you can have a peace of mind with having that in your closet and not having to replace it like next year or every two years. So next up is a trench coat and I feel like that's a pretty classic spring jacket. This one is from ASOS and I absolutely love it because it's so oversized and so light. This is like your classic trench coat material. It's kind of like a little bit waxy. So it's a little bit water resistant and maybe a little bit windproof, but it isn't like 100% waterproof. So it's not like your rain jacket, which I'll talk about next. This one is, I think, extra European inspired because it is from ASOS, which is like a European company. I will talk more about trench coats in my trench coat video, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but I just wanted to show you because trench coats are just such a staple in anyone's closet, no matter what your style, whether or not you're like a minimalist or someone who really likes to follow trends. I like to go with oversized and super long trench coats versus like the shorter ones that are a little bit more structured. I like throwing it on like over, like even like this outfit that is super simple because I feel like on those windier days where you just need a little bit extra leg coverage, easily just like put this on instead of having to change into a longer pant. And then when it gets warmer out later on in the day, you can take the jacket off and you're actually dressed for a warm day. Plus when it's raining out, but it's not like torrential pouring out, I feel like I prefer not to wear a rain jacket because there's just something about rain jacket material that isn't that comfortable. So a trench coat's a great kind of rainy, kind of gloomy day outerwear piece for spring. And you know, especially in Canada, we have so many of those days. So just a couple things that I look for in trench coats is the length. I like it to be closer to my ankles. The collar, this one isn't a typical collar. It has a little bit of corduroy in it. And it's just like a very simple like lay flat collar versus I'll show you the H&M one in a second is like an actual classic trench coat lapel and if there is a belt make sure there are belt buckles or something to help you keep the belt on um, I know that there are sometimes trench coats that have like the faux belts and like they just don't really work they always kind of get tangled or fall off and this is the H&M one so this one's slightly different in style it's double breasted it has your classic trench coat lapel with like the floppier parts that can like turn into the double breast with your regular collar on top plus it has like your flap in the front and this one is belted so I think this one's a little bit more versatile than the ASOS one ASOS one's very very masculine and this one I think you can dress either way. Last but not least, spring jacket number five is a rain jacket, of course, because it's always raining during the spring. At least here we have at least one day out of the week where it's raining. So for me, I've kind of stuck to shorter rain jackets. I went through a phase of really long ones because I wanted everything to be covered and I was walking around a lot and getting soaked. But if you're not someone who like, let's say walks to work a lot or walks to do errands a lot and you're like going in and out of your car kind of like me, a short one I think does the trick because longer rain jackets are just super annoying. I don't love the feeling of rain jacket materials to be honest, but sometimes it's necessary because you just need to not be covered in water. This one in particular is from Lululemon. I really like rain jackets that don't actually look like rain jackets and I feel like this one almost looks like a utilitarian khaki jacket, but the material is 100% waterproof. That's another thing to look for when you're shopping for rain jackets is make sure it's 100% waterproof and not just like weather resistant because there's nothing worse than wearing kind of like a crinkly material and it not actually keeping you dry. So just make sure when you're reading descriptions that it's waterproof because I've made that mistake before. The brands that I love rain jackets from mostly are Lululemon, Hunter makes some really cute ones. There's a brand called Rain that's just like a really simplistic medium length rain jacket in like a one solid color with a hood. Moose Knuckle has some really cute ones. But yeah, I'll link some different ones for you down below. But you definitely need a rain jacket in your closet. I feel like no matter where you live for the spring season. And that's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoyed my five must have spring jackets video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Can't wait to make the trench coat video because talking about jackets is making me super excited. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and I will see you so soon.